BC, welcome back. This is Hubtoons. I am Mike. Uh, we are going to do a quick installment of Get Off My Turntable. Um, this is just basically five records that I've been playing nonstop for the last three weeks, four weeks or so. Um, real quick, usually eclectic. Um, some of them are some of my new vinyl finds, some are not. Some are just old stuff that I've been digging out and picking and going through the shelves so uh first up first up i've been listening to this a lot because there's been a lot of buzz about sparks lately with their uh documentary out and um this is a great album this is called it's just called ffs this is franz ferdinand and sparks came out a few years ago it is the perfect blend of these two bands um it is surprisingly underrated i People didn't even really know this came out. It's just got lyrics in, in the middle. Uh, it's on two, two uh, 180 gram vinyls. Uh, it's a terrific, terrific record. It's a, like I said, perfect combination of the two bands, Franz Ferdinand and Sparks. So I've been listening to this a lot lately. I don't, I don't know why. Just uh, went through my collection and pulled it out. Great, great record. Uh, next up, I've been listening to this because I... Um, in my most recent vinyl finds, I uh, picked up a copy of My Morning Jacket's uh, Z. And this is uh, Jim James, his solo album called Eternal, uh, Eternally Even. Uh, this is, pop I think it's his second solo record. Um, really, really interesting stuff. Uh, completely different than My Morning Jacket. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, Definitely check this out if you like my my morning jacket or Jim James's voice. This is more the songs are a little more extended. Um, they're kind of I don't want to say dancey, but they're a little more droney and a um, little more out there, a little less guitar oriented. But his voice sounds fantastic on this record. I'm probably one of the few my morning jacket fans who actually likes this record. I think it's terrific. This is Jim James, eternally even. It's a good one. Um, I was jamming this because it's kind of a recent pickup, but uh, this is Witch. Uh, in the past, this is uh, Zamrock, uh, African music. It is um, punky. It's funky. It is uh, a lot, very similar to The Stones. Some of the songs remind me so much of stuff from Exile on Main Street. Um, this is a great record. A lot of fun. It's on green vinyl. Highly recommend this. This is Witch. Um, you guys know, it's my favorite band, one of my favorite bands, probably my top three bands. This is uh, Wilco and Billy Bragg. This is uh, Mermaid Avenue Volume 2. There are three volumes of this. Um, I love this cover. Another really great. Um, this one's terrific. I, I, I love these. I love all three of them. Um, this is the one that has um, Secret of the Sea, Airline to Heaven, which is probably my Probably one of my favorite Wilco songs. Uh, Feed the Man is on here. Remember the Mountain Bed, Blood of the Lamb. It's a wonderful, wonderful record. This is probably my favorite of the three. This is uh, Billy Bragg and Wilco, Mermaid Avenue, Volume 2. Uh, and then I was getting a little funky earlier in the week. Uh, I was listening to Grant Green. This is uh, one of his later albums. It doesn't get a lot of talk on the VC. It doesn't get a lot of love, period. But I love this record. It is Grant Green just getting funky. Uh, this is His Majesty His Majesty King Funk. And he does a great uh, cover of uh, Cantaloupe Woman. This is an OG copy. Um, this is absolutely wonderful. He does... Uh, the Selma March, Willow Weep for Me, the cover, uh, Cantaloupe Woman, That Lucky Old Son, which is gorgeous. I love that song. Also used to be covered by Jerry Garcia Band for a while. Um, it's Grant Green on guitar, uh, Candio Camaro on bongo and conga, Ben Dixon on drums, Harold Vick on tenor sax, and Larry Young, the incredible Larry Young, on organ. This is a funky, fun record. I wish more people knew about it. Grant Green. That's it. Quick video. You guys stay safe. Have fun. 
Talk to you soon.